The next step in the assembly sequence is to attach the uh, cast adapter. This is the adapter that will bolt the 9 inch motor on the face to the original S10 transmission on the back. This adapter has been designed to locate everything properly, has hardened and uh, precise machine dowel pins to match to the transmission, um, and then the bolt holes will bolt everything together. So, One consideration you need to make when you install this is where the motor electrical connections are going to be in reference to the transmission and the motor. This is the top of the transmission, represents the top of the transmission. We're going to want, on this case, the motor leads to be basically in the vertical position, so I'm going to rotate this to match. I'm going to install it right here. It's uh, seated on a 4 inch diameter um, seat on the motor itself, and when it's in position, everything matches up. This bolts up with uh, 3 8 16 bolts. And essentially we put those in position and bolt it up tight. Okay, I'm just finishing up tightening up the uh, bolt adapter plate to the uh, Warp 9 motor. Uh, couple other features you could notice on your uh, new adapter and motor. We've got uh, the adapter plate labeled. This is a 2.2 liter four cylinder to a warp 9 with a clutch. Um, that's the system that we're using here. Uh, these four bolts just need to be bolted up tight. They don't need to be torqued to a specific uh, uh, specification, but they need to be bolted up tight uh, with lock washers. And our next step is we're going to attach the motor now to a 12 volt charger and we're going to spin this motor up just as a test spin uh, to check the runout and the accuracy on this coupler.